Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. In today's video, I want to share with you a story that was recently sent to me. And this is literally one of the creepiest, uh, disconcerting, eerie, unsettling stories that I've ever heard. And so I'm going to share it with you guys today. And this kind of ties in to the whole um, men in black phenomenon or the black eyed men phenomenon. Maybe some of you have heard of the um, the topic of the black-eyed children or the black-eyed adults, uh, which is a very strange topic which revolves around uh, various reports all over the world where a family or a person would encounter someone in public, maybe at a grocery store, or who would get a knock at their door. They would answer it and it would be this strange, pale, um, what they can only describe as what looked like something that was attempting to look like a human, if you know what I mean. And in a lot of these interactions with these strangers, in many cases it's been described that they will have black eyes, and I mean black. And in some cases, even the whites of their eyes will be black, you know, and, and it's extremely creepy. And it's been said that these are aliens, alien hybrids, you know, men in black, something, something that's not fully human. And I've done videos on this in the past. I know I've done one on the men in black and I think the black eyed children. I'll try to find them and I'll put the links down below. But I got an email recently from a woman who experienced a very similar encounter with a man who she could only describe as the scariest and the creepiest person she had ever met. And this happened while they were um, at a local shopping mall. Uh, she was with her husband, her two kids. And well, I'll just go ahead and read you the email here and then we'll talk more about it afterwards and then you guys tell me if you've experienced something similar. So the email reads, and I quote, I am not a paranoid person, and I'm praying that I'm overreacting, but I want to make known what happened to me and to let anyone else know, whether it be my friends or anyone who might read this with children, to listen and to be warned. Two weeks ago, my husband and I were inside of a store at our local shopping mall. While we were looking around, I noticed a man looking at us and our children when he suddenly approached us and commented on how cute they were. He asked how old they were. He was very friendly and eager to keep the conversation going. But despite that, one of the things that stuck out to me that is still clear in my mind was the fact that he had extremely dark eyes. And by dark, I mean jet black to the point where I couldn't even see where his pupil began and his retina ended. I had never before seen eyes like this. So the man then told us that he and his wife and a young son had just moved to our town from out of state and didn't know anyone from the area. He asked if we lived nearby. He wanted to know our occupations, all of our names, how old we were, if we had social media accounts online, etc. And he looked at me and said, quote, I notice your necklace. Do you go to church around here? It was one of those things where you don't want to be rude, but you're very uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for making new friends, but I was getting an extremely creepy vibe. We eventually tore away and minutes later, I noticed him leave the store without buying anything. I didn't think too much of it. It wasn't until 20 minutes later that I received a friend request on Facebook from this guy and his quote, wife. I freaked out, but I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. I did not accept his friend request, but I did go through his profile 
It was not even a week old. It was very plain and not many photos or much information. Now fast forward two weeks to today. My husband and I had walked to the local supermarket with the kids, and as we entered, guess who was standing a stone's throw away from us? The very same man who had approached us in the mall. This time, he was talking to another young couple with two small children. I made eye contact with him, and he suddenly broke away from the family he was chatting with and walked in the opposite direction. He walked all the way to the other end of the store and exited, once again, without buying a thing. At this point, I was officially creeped out more than I ever have been before. We then went about our business and eventually ended up in the toy aisle. It was at this point that I had noticed another man I had never seen before, again, looking at us and our kids. He approached us and commented on how cute they were. He asked how old they were. He said he couldn't wait to have kids and was shopping for his nephew. He told us that he had just moved to the area from out of town and asked if we lived nearby. He wanted to know where we worked, all of our names, etc. And then he looked at me and said, quote, I notice your necklace. Do you go to church around here? It was at this point that my blood turned cold. My husband gave me a warning glance and we walked away. We eventually saw him leave as well. And just like the previous man, he walked out without purchasing anything for his so-called nephew. As I said in the beginning of this email, I'm not a paranoid person, but this is not normal at all. People aren't this friendly to strangers and I have never experienced a middle-aged man being remotely that interested in me or my children, let alone the fact that the two conversations were almost identical. My gut is telling me that there's something wrong and my instincts are sounding an alarm. I ask you and have told all of my friends to be mindful of their surroundings, especially when out on your own. I have no idea what the point of all of this was, and I'm sick to my stomach trying to figure it out, but I do know that they were both trying to get as much information from us as possible, and they also seem to be very interested in our two small children. The men we saw at both locations were in their mid-30s, were in their mid-30s, were Caucasian, bald, no facial hair, about five foot seven, and had extremely dark black eyes. I ask you to please spread the word and let me know if you've heard of something similar. So, um, uh, it, it literally makes the hairs on my neck stand up just reading that. And reading through this and hearing the descriptions of these men, the strange way about them, the dark eyes, the identical questions, walking out of the store without purchasing anything, and seeing them do it to other couples. The black-eyed strangers in particular is one of the creepiest, mysterious phenomenon, or at least one of them that I've probably ever spoken about. And most of the stories you'll hear online about this tend to be about children with these black, almost alien or evil or demon-like black eyes. I mean, you're seeing a photo here and even that doesn't do it justice. But many of the stories you'll read online and reports that at least we have on file are of these encounters with these strange beings that appear to be inhuman because of the color of their eyes and the strange behavior, feeling a sense of unease when coming into contact with these beings, uh, describing their interactions as being overwhelmed with a sense of intense fear. And a lot of them, again, not just the eyes, but many will be hairless, no hair on their head, no facial hair, very pale, but who will ask these, these odd questions that, that a normal person and certainly a stranger simply doesn't ask. And this has occurred again in stores, shopping malls, getting a strange knock on your door in the evening or in the middle of the night, opening it and seeing the small child with black eyes asking if they could come in and use the phone or speak with you before vanishing moments later. Uh, I can recall one story that occurred a few years back in Texas where a journalist was sitting uh, in a parking lot in his car late at night and was uh, filling out his checkbook in order to pay one of his bills when out of nowhere and out of the darkness, 
Two children walked up to his car, knocking on the window, and began asking him for a ride home so that they could get some money from their parents in order to go see a movie that was playing at the local movie theater. Unfortunately, the movie theater was closed, as it was very late at night. The man recalled locking eyes with the children, and without even thinking, looked down and noticed that his hand had gone to unlock the car door when he caught himself, after which he sped away from the children, not letting them in, and described it as being in fear for his life. He described the eyes of the two children as once again being as black as coal, with no pupil, no retina, no iris, nothing, but what looked to him as two black, shiny crystal balls. He said it was the most frightened he's ever been in his entire life. And so, you can read plenty more of these stories and this testimony from these encounters with people all over the world. And, you know, it, it creeps me out just sitting here recording this. You know, uh, when I think about it, when I'm alone and I, and I think about these stories, I mean, it creeps the shit out of me. I mean, it really does. Uh, but, um, you know, that's just an example. So I wanted to read you this email and see if any of you guys have experienced anything similar. And uh, just to give me your take on it, what do you think these people are and strange men? Uh, who take on an alien nature, who strike fear into these people, and disappearing at a moment's notice. So let me know what you guys think down below, and just remember, the next time you're out shopping with your family or kids, to be wary of your surroundings and those who might approach you with the intention of being your friend. So thank you guys for stopping by today. Be sure to share this video, like, and subscribe on your way out. I really appreciate it. And as always, stay tuned because we've got much more to talk about, and I will see you all back in just a bit. Stay safe, guys.